Hi everybody, it's Mike. Part-time reselling in the Pittsburgh area and sometimes when you resell stuff you come across uh, situations where I, I don't know how to mail this. I don't know if I can mail this. Uh, I come up, came up with that situation with this. It is a SodaStream a cylinder. It has CO2 in it and I didn't know if I could mail it or not. Now before I go into what I found out, I'm going to tell you don't necessarily listen to me. <laughs> Do your own research because this is how I feel about the subject and I think I know what I'm doing, but I'm not 100% sure. So don't blame me if something goes wrong. Check with your local authorities, New mail people. I, I don't know. So anyway, uh, so there are three classifications of hazardous material. We're talking about hazard class two. You see here, they're divided into three divisions. Uh, we're only concerned about 2.2, the non-flammable, non-toxic gas. You see there, 2.1 is flammable and 2.3 is uh, toxic. Uh, this is neither of that, so we don't have to worry about that. Uh, then we go on to the malleability, and it says all in that garbage somewhere in there that 2.2, uh, which is what we're concerned about, can be mailed via surface. It actually says it can be mailed in the air too, but I'm just gonna say that I'm gonna ship it ground. So as far as I know, you can ship CO2 cylinders through the United States Postal Service and just to be on the safe side, just do it via ground. Now I checked with my local post office and they're like, I don't know, check the website. I don't think we can mail it at all. Okay. So I went to a, a different uh, um, uh, post office and after I found out all the information I just told you, and the clerk there uh, tended to agree with me. Yes, it looks like you can mail hazardous classification 2.2 through the mail, although she said not through the air, just through ground. So there's a little, uh, I, I came up with that you can do it both, but just keep it ground. I, I went, also went to UPS and they also said, no, we don't ship that at all. Maybe you can go to the big uh, UPS place, but this UPS store, uh, we don't ship that at all. I went on the uh, UPS website and according to their website, uh, yes, you can ship. Again, Hazard Class 2.2. Uh, there's a list there. And you can see on this other list here, this is stuff that you can't send UPS. So uh, you can send it UPS from what I gather, but uh, not at this particular store. I don't know if the uh, UPS stores, they make up their own uh, rules and regulations. And they said, uh, you know, we don't want to deal with this, so we're not just not going to accept it. But if I went to a regular, you know, UPS facility. I don't know what they call them. Uh, maybe I could ship it from there. I'm not sure. But at any rate, uh, again, check with your with your local UPS. All right. So, oh, oh, and I asked about what, because you see here, uh, let's get this little thing on there. Uh, here, show you a, a bigger version of it. I asked, uh, do I have to put anything on the package to say, you know, this is class two non-flammable gas and the uh, clerk at the uh, post office said, well, no, just tell us what's in it. You know, when they, when you ship something and they're like, is there anything fragile, liquid and all this other stuff? Uh, she just says, just, just tell them that it's, it's a CO2 canister. So there you go. Again, don't take my word for it. Do your own research. But as far as I know, you can send SodaStream you, uh, United States Postal Service, uh, again, stick to the ground just to be on the safe side. If anybody asks any questions, <laughs> uh, just tell them that it's uh, classification hazard. Was it hazard class 2.2 non-flammable gas? You should be okay to mail it through the ground. Uh, Mike, Mike, uh, sorry to break in, but we're getting some breaking news. Uh, things I forgot to mention after I finished the video. Um, if you remember back on one of the pictures, uh, you cannot ship gas internationally from the United States. So if you do the eBay global shipping program and you do have a canister that you want to ship, make sure you uh, are not including it in the program when you make your listing. Uh, also, because again, you should probably stick to it being through ground. You might want to exclude Hawaii and Alaska as well, just to make sure that it sticks to the lower 48. Uh, and then that way it'll go ground. Why we say lower 48 when Hawaii's lower than us, I don't know. But anyway, uh, so that's it. So that's the breaking news. Make sure it doesn't go internationally because you can't do that. Okay, Mike, back to you. Okay, so if, if you come across that, uh, by the way, I got this for a dollar at an estate sale. And then I decided to try to 
figure out if I can mail it or not. Might want to do the other way around. Uh, anyway, uh, that's it. Uh, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. I'll talk to you later. Bye.